and for today's vlog would be about how to choose your very first plan or yeah how to choose your first plan ano nga ba ang mga dapat nating i-consider kapag mag-aalaga na tayo ng ating unang-unang unang halaman sa ating bahay or unang-una nating magiging parte sa ating plant family or sa ating jungle please do follow jungle uh, the jungle ph on instagram um you can find my plants there so bago pa ba lang siya though i am not an expert on this guys but you know i am just learning as well and i just want to share you what i have learned and what i am learning in being a plant tita or in being a plant mama so if interested kayo please keep on watching First, first and foremost, and the very first important is the humidity and the light. Proper amount of air, proper amount of light, and proper amount of humidity. Like, for example, si Kalatea. Nako, yung Kalatea niya, napaka, ano niya, napaka sensitive to humidity niya. Kailangan niya ng right amount of humidity. So, kaya yung iba, nagkakaroon ng or naglalagay ng humidifier dito sa bahay, minsan, nakatabi pa ng kanya ang kalatea. Tapos naglalagay pa ng, um, ng water sa tabi ng kalatea. But, not all plants are like kalateas that really love humid uh, humidity. Kasi, some plants like succulents, cactus, ganyan, they really thrive in a, uh, in a dry places. Like, gusto nila yung mainit and medyo medyo mag-dry na, na environment. Doon best mo survive and doon mag, do, yun ang best for succulents or uh, succulents and cactus. Pero bakit nga ba natin kailangan maging factor din ang pagiging nasa bahay or kung kailan tayo lagi na sa bahay. Kasi, kailangan ng plant ang commitment. As I've mentioned in my previous vlog, um, kapag mag-aalaga ka ng halaman or kapag mag-aalaman ka, you have to give your 100% commitment. Kasi, like people or like your mga jowaers, they really need or they also need commitment. But, if you are a type of person na lagi talaga wala sa bahay, like, super busy and stuff or whatever reason that you could have kaya hindi ka ganoon kadalas sa bahay or hindi ka kadalas na nandoon kung nasaan yung mga halaman mo siguro best thing or best type of plant na aalagaan mo ay yung mga succulents cactus and monstera kasi they are uh, the plants that hindi naman talaga ganoon kailangan bigyan masyado ng pansin or hindi sila ganun kapapansin plant and yun, as I've mentioned earlier, they thrive in, um, in a dry or whatever you call it uh, surrounding environment while Monstera naman is really not into watering pero of course please do remember that you have to keep their soil moist para hindi sila makatay pero they don't want to uh, water too much kasi mag kukosyo ng root rot or kahit sa anumang mga halaman over water it will cause root rot. So, ayun. And the next thing that we have to consider is whether you have a pet or whether you have pets or children. Why? Because there are plants na toxic sa, uh, ayun, na toxic. So, mayroon mga plants na hindi good for pets and hindi good for kids. So, may mga plants na poisonous like Dumpkin, yun na, like dumpkin, yung lantano, ganyan. So, ayun, we also have to consider those. And, uh, yun, um, because we don't want to harm the plant, and we don't want to harm the pets, and, of course, the kids as well, di ba? Most importantly, the kids. moms or other plantitas as well as in the internet, what are the toxic and non-toxic plants. Ang alam ko, toxic, ang part sa toxic plants ang mga photos. 
Dunkin, and Lily, or the Peace Lily. And then, what else? Tsaka yung, um, sa mga pet. So, kapag nakain niya ng pet niyo, nako, magkakaroon sila ng sakit. And, while the non-toxic plants naman, yan ang spider plant. Then, calitias, yan, mga kid-friendly and plant-friendly plant, yan. Boston firm, orchids, what else? And, many, many other plants na, uh, maraming plants na hindi toxic sa animals or sa pets as well as sa kids. So, you can search that online and the internet or you can also check um, uh, other plant moms or other plant leaders. Of course, they will share that to you. Kasi you really have to consider that. Okay? So, the next thing that you have to consider. So, aside from the three factors uh, like the air, uh, the air, humidity, and the light or the proper ventilation or the amount of, uh, or the ventilation inside your house, um, the amount of time that you are at home and whether you have pets or children at home. For us to boost confidence when we succeed in making them grow. What are this? Like, I can give you an example. Of course, pinaka, pinaka, pinaka una and pinaka basic na aalagaan mo kapag starter ka pa lang sa paghahalaman is ang snake plant. It's really hard, it's a really hard to kill type of plant na kahit pabayaan mo lang siya dyan, mag-grow siya. Pero syempre, no, hindi naman natin kahit dapat pabayaan ng kahit anong halaman. So, we still have to give them love and affection. Of course, we have to give them proper amount of watering. Let's not overwater um, uh, snake plants because Hindi talaga, si, hindi talaga sila ganun kagusto na super tubig. Second one is photos. Isa rin siya sa madaling alagaan na hindi mo talaga kailangan bigyan masyado ng sobrang-sobrang daming pansin. Of course, cactus and succulents. And sabi rin nila, monstera. Though ako, <laughs> nag, yung first time kong mag-alaga ng monstera, syempre hindi talaga ganun kasuksess yung story. Pero, at least, na-revive ko naman siya. Based on the research that I've made, Monstera is a hard-to-kill plant. And Monstera is one of the basics that you can... Uh, Monstera is one of the basic plants that you can take care of easily. So, ayun. Then, you can also search for other hard-to-kill plants. Um, this lily would be a hard-to-kill plant. For me, ha? Pero... Depende kasi yan. Depende yan sa ano ng bahay niyo kung gano'n ka dry, gano'n ka, ano yung, gano'n ka humid and stuff. I would just want to reiterate, why do you have to start with those hard to plants? This is for you guys to gain or to boost your confidence in taking care of plants. Because again, if there is if there is a success story, of course, ma mas gaganahan ka and you'll get motivated to to get some more and to take care of more plants diba? or to add more plants into your plant home and into your jungle. And next, then we have more variety of techniques. We have to, you know, put an extraordinary diversity inside your house so that you don't have to play. So, yes, for one circle of friends, we have to Dapat meron tayong pagkakaiba-iba. Alam nyo naman lahat ng halaman mo, puro snake plants lang. Alam nyo naman lang, puro, puro halaman mo, puro cactus lang. Though, puro cactus man yan, kasi may mga gano'n ang pakalala na puro cactus lang ang halaman sa bahay. At least, iba-ibang cactus naman. Of course, we have to consider na siyempre kailangan natin ng iba-ibang size, iba-ibang laki, like, yeah, iba-ibang size, iba-ibang klase, iba-ibang style, di ba? It will make uh, it will make the spot or the corner that you're putting your plants, um, it will make them more look okay. Like, ande, hindi ko makuha yung tamang term eh. Parang, mas maganda silang tignan. And if, nag, kasi plants are just like humans. If they think that they look okay and they look elegant with each one of us, 
magpapasik kata niya. Like, mag, ay, gusto ko rin maganda ako. Gusto ko ganito. Ganon. Uh, we have to consider that. And, mas, mas okay din tingnan na paiba-iba. Pero, syempre, ha, huwag ka naman yung parang, oh, bila ka nito, bila ka nito, bila ka nito. One step at a time lang, girl. Kasi, pag nagsabay-sabay, baka ma ma malito ka na kung ano bang best care plan for this plant. And then, paano naman to? Like, di ba? So, if you could have at least one tall tree or one tall plant, like rubber tree, one rubber tree, and you can have uh, a small snake plant or the dwarf snake plant, and then have a typical size of snake plant, that will be fine. And photos, like, it will give more life to your home. That's just for me, ha? Then, other tips that I can give you right now is that uh, having plants or having urban homes or adding plants into your home is, is trendy nowadays. Maraming rason kung bakit you can get it either to impress your friends and either to, um, to distress yourself and um, it's either gusto mo lang nang may pagkakaabalahan, ganyan. Maraming rason, but kung kahit ano man dun sa rason na yun, let's keep in the mind that we have to give commitment to our plants and hindi lang siya parang display sa bahay. We have to take care of them. We have to give love and affection to them and treat them as a human as well. Because for me, plants are really good for the soul. It really needs commitment for you uh, for them to thrive as well and when they turn on is a success story right so I always remember that a happy plan is a happy thing so yeah I hope you can uh, take into your considerations the factors that I mentioned in this vlog yun lang naman guys I hope na meron akong na contribute sa ating uh, plant world um, like especially sa mga nagbabalak pa lang na mag-alaga ng or pumasok sa plant world no and at maging plant mama or maging plant tita and i really do encourage everyone to take care at least one plant inside your house or inside your home it will be a really good idea again always remember happy plant makes a happy plant. so i hope you guys do like this video thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you on my next one bye